Hi guys, and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we were building up the city walls around East Point. And in this episode, we're going to be building up more of the city. And in particular, we're going to be building almost a museum or the actual Warriors Guild or the Gladiators Guild hall that's around there. I want you guys to actually decide once you see the build what you think it should be. Now, if you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, if you're new to the series at all, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to the main Lord Support series and the main Pataria series. Anyway, let's get into building. So, the first thing we're going to start building is just on the back part of the Royal Gladius Inn. That was that main inn that we made a couple episodes ago. We're going to be building a couple bits of stables and also planning around this area. I love the idea of back streets, so I really wanted to, you know, make this part of it quite a muddy and dirty kind of, uh, almost like a, a kind of quiet corner. We've also got quite a steep hill, so I wanted a nice little uh, path moving down from there. So using wool, it's really good to just plan out your buildings, especially if you're doing a small area like this. Um, it's definitely worth doing because you can figure out how the different buildings are going to interact with, out, with each other and get a nice uh, kind of shell and see what's going on there. You can see there that I've just kind of made another more complicated house. As I'm getting better with each of these angled buildings, I'm playing around with a lot of the roof styles and sometimes it does drive me a little bit mad when I'm trying to figure out exactly how to, to build this, how to actually make it look good. But I find that that's part of the challenge. Part of the challenge is, you know, trying to make it look really good, but also make it look interesting. Now, for this square part here, I decided to actually put in a tower. We haven't got loads and loads of towers in the entire city yet, and it does make quite a lot of sense to have these. So I didn't want to make it as fancy as the great, uh, you know, grand uh, merchant's guild tower, but I did want to make an actual tower. Also, I wanted to do it at an angle, which makes it a little bit more difficult, as I found out, especially when I was doing the roof. Um, because it's, of course, uh, on, on an even, uh, it doesn't kind of go to a natural point, so I had to play around with it to try and make it look like it was naturally going to a single point, otherwise I would have two two blocks going up, and I just, I just wasn't happy with that. But it turned out alright in the end. But guys, give me some ideas for what that tower should actually be, what kind of guild is there, or is it used for something else? Then coming around to the side here, building another house. Now this one's quite interesting because we've got a little bit of a street going down the side of it and it wigwams down. Um, you can actually walk onto the top floor and then there's just some small steps that go down to get you down to a bottom floor. It's really hard to show you guys because it's in such a cramped area. Uh, but using the blue and using the black stone that we've got, um, I'm pretty happy with this new stone now. Um, it definitely is different and it adds a different kind of layer to it. It's more like slate. That's the way that I keep on thinking of it as a nice dark slate. Um, but yeah, using in lots of the jungle uh, trap doors. I'm really happy with how those turned out on them as windows. They look really good and we can kind of have a look at what we're going to do with that. Now coming over to the main building. So this is what I want you guys after you've seen the whole thing is what should it be? It's going to be a much fancier building. It's on this bit of a hill. I decided to do it on an angle. Again, Challenge mode accepted. It's all about challenging yourself and getting yourself better. And sometimes that means it turns out well and sometimes it doesn't. This one I had to play around with a lot. I'm going to tell you guys I had to play with, around with a lot to make it look good and to where I was actually happy with it. But I've learned so much from actually doing it. So using the stone on the sides and then we've got some sandstone mix in there as well. I just find these two work really well. Um, as you can see I've been using World Edit to try and boost it up, go up a couple floors, make it really big. I was trying to figure out what kind of roof I wanted to do. I did go for a really, really pointy roof, and I decided to scale it right back. Going with the um, brick as well on top. Did play around with some of the kind of dark uh, uh, stone bricks, but I wasn't too happy with how this turned out in the end. But I was just trying things out to see what would actually work. We've got these two areas coming off the main building, so it's a very big square, big rectangle. With a couple of bits coming off of the sides here, but they're at different heights, so that's why I wanted to do a little bit different. Now, for the entrance, I wanted to use the court, so make it look like marble, give it that kind of almost uh, Greco Roman look to it, make it very grand. And then I, you know, saw that and went, actually, yeah, the white really does work here. Let's use that for the main windows, uh, and that worked really well. And actually, in between the windows, uh, I've actually got 
uh, chain. So I've actually used chain in there. It just gives it a little bit of a different texture to it. Now coming over to the roof, the roof just looked really, really plain. So I needed to do something with it. So I decided to put on these, I don't know what you'd call them architecturally. <laughs> I'm going to call them blobs. So I'm sure there'll be somebody in the description, who, or in the comments even, that can actually correct me and tell me what they are. Uh, but they almost look like chimneys on there, as well as on the main kind of peak of it, putting on these other bits as well. Uh, using the, the kind of um, the wall, the stone wall with lots of iron really helped. Now when we come around to the back, again, with the Greco-Roman kind of style, I wanted this to be able to look over the hill, because it's on a hill. Uh, when we do get onto the, that next bit um, at some point, there's going to be a bit of a port. So it's actually got a really good view of this port, and I wanted to really use that, you know, that's what we've got. At an angle, it actually looks really well and really worked itself out. Um, I'm actually really happy with how the whole thing turned out. So this is the street here in the back streets, as you can see, really quite tight in there. We've got that guild tower as well, so let me know what you think should that guild tower should be for. Then when we come around to the main side, we've got that other building that we've got there. And then we've got this potentially museum, potentially a guild hall of some kind. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think the level of detail on it definitely helps sell the build of what it is. And building it at an angle was definitely a bit of a challenge. But anyway guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. And if you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.